For decades, he was a fixture in the living rooms of Torontonians as one of the anchors of this broadcast. Tom Gibney has died. Tonight, we're remembering a man known for his integrity, authority, and popularity with viewers. CTV's Andrea Case reports. World Beat News. Good evening. When Thomas Gary Gibney sat down on the anchor desk at what was then CFTO News in 1974, it was the last place he ever thought he would be. As an oil rig worker in Peace River, Alberta in the 50s, he heard about an opening for a morning radio announcer job, and he applied. The rest was broadcasting history. I think he was very passionate about his family, he was very passionate about his golf, and he was very passionate about his job, but he was, uh, he was still just a guy from Yorkton all the way through all the years that I knew him, and uh, I loved him and respected him for it, and I really have lost my, my second father. Who's your hero today? You. What, me? Yeah. <laughs> Tom was one of the many reasons that, uh, that I enjoyed going to work every day. We got along very well, exchanged a few, you know, personal stories and so on. But he made going to work every day a real pleasure. Premier Ford released this statement. On behalf of the people of Ontario, I want to offer my condolences to Tom's family, friends, and all those whose life was touched by his remarkable career in broadcasting. For 27 years, Tom Gibney delivered the news, good and bad. Congratulations, hon. On his 20th anniversary, his entire family made a cameo appearance. That family has grown. I love you, Grandpa. <laughs> Gibney died today after a series of illnesses. He is survived by his wife Donna of 64 years, four children, nine grandchildren, and two great-grandchildren. Tom Gibney was 84. Andrea Case, CTV News.